first album is totally different from the last one. Can you tell me something about it? Mm -hmm. the evolution you made? Um, one reason I had different management. Yeah. I listened to the management a great deal. They would tell me how to write the songs and how to play them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not my producer, but they tell me uh, certain things like uh, uh, I don't know, just kind of album would be nice or needed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, the new management doesn't do that. But the old management does. I'll say, um, I'll say it's important for you to uh, have a style of music. It's important for you to establish that. Black American base yeah. and things like that. And regardless of what I wanted to do or whatever. Um, another reason is that uh, I think I matured a great deal. You know, the way I approach my work and stuff. I think uh, when I was in the beginning, I was a little different. Uh -huh. uh, my lifestyle was a little different. I wasn't allowed as much freedom as I am. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I tried to do anything I wanted to back then, but I, it was met with more rebuttal than anything. Mm -hmm. And now it's a lot different. This, this new album, I was allowed to uh, do anything I wanted. And what happened was that it started out as demo tapes in the record deal. I had no idea it was going to be on the album. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote songs and recorded songs that uh, meant more to me than mm -hmm. other things I've written. They were more of an extension. Mm -hmm. um, and I ended up with that. Mm -hmm. You're from Minneapolis? Mm -hmm. Serious? Is there heavily music scene there? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, nothing. Nothing. Nothing really, no. They, they make an attempt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I guess uh, the last guy told me there wasn't much of the music scene here. Mm -hmm. Just you know, not local music. So. Well, I think it's a little bit more than here, but it's not. It's not really you know, can you introduce your band members mm -hmm. like Bobby C? Yeah, he plays drums. Yeah. He's, uh, he was a friend of mine. I didn't even know he could play drums. Mm -hmm. he, was, um, he was an errand boy. He worked for my manager, my first manager. Mm -hmm. And I thought sooner or later I could get a band. And uh, Bobby and I were hanging out talking and whatever. He would help me do things in the studio, doing and stuff. And um, he told me he could play drums, so I said, okay, and I listened to him. And, uh, he ended up doing a job. Mm -hmm. Des, he's a guitar player. He, um, I actually don't know where he came from. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going on where he came from. He looks very strange. Mm -hmm. To most people, I'm used to it, but just to describe it, very strange. And um, I don't know exactly where he came from. He just popped up at a rehearsal studio one day and asked if he could play guitar. He's been there ever since. And uh, uh, Matt, who plays keyboards. Um, I think I'm. Um, See, I, I know I know a lot about them and I know little. I know little about their background, but I know a lot about their personality. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you how it got with me. Um, Bobby told me about this guy who wanted to play music, but his father um, didn't want him to. And, mm -hmm. and he was going through some real traumatic experiences behind it and 
maybe he was a great player, but maybe he wouldn't be so good in the band because mm -hmm. of this or whatever. Um, he's more schizophrenic. He can be, you know, massive sometimes. You know. And um, <laughs> it's it's stupid because he said, um, when I talked to his father a little later, and his father said that he wanted Matt to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I guess it's sort of a compromise. Matt wears that suit on the stage, but he plays a lot well, so. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Lisa, I met through a friend in uh, Los Angeles when I lost my first keyboard player. And Andrea I've known since birth, I think. Mm -hmm. Keyboard player also co-wrote the uh, song Dirty Mind. Mm -hmm. right. On your albums, you play all the instruments yourself and not using the band. Why? Mm. One reason is a uh, very small reason, but one reason is because I recorded very strange albums. Another reason is. It's hard for me to um, play with people who don't know exactly where the song comes from. Yeah. And um, it's hard to explain an overall idea to five people. It's easier for me to do it and play a tape of the song to make it the whole picture. Yeah. And it's real cohesive. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the, with, with the sound the band is uh yeah, very much so. It's, it's far more aggressive because one reason we play this stuff a great deal. Another reason is, uh, and they know it really well. Another reason is that I think they're older than I am. Yeah. And, um, live in the studio is two different things, so, but I am satisfied with what they're doing. The last album, uh, Sounds pretty good in America, mm -hmm. even without the airplane. Can you explain that? To me? Um, I think a lot of people get hit from the press or yeah. whatever, and once they see his play, there's always an increase in sales. I think people sort of write, wrote it off as some kind of publicity stunt or joke yeah. at first, and once they see his play, they realize that. Mm -hmm. We're like we are, and um, it might be our fault, but that's too bad. And if they can get to it, fully, if not, you know, I'll listen to something else. Yeah, sure. Uh, on every album you made, you thank God first, and you thank a lot of people. Uh, you believe in God? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you also write very controversial lyrics. In the first album, uh, is there any song directly uh, written to God? Mm. No. For the next album, there will be yeah. Sinning Salvation. That's basically where I live. Mm -hmm. um, torn between two lovers, mm. maybe. Uh, but do you believe I think in God? I'll explain myself a little better. I do it better than you do when I do talking. Talking. I'm sure I will. In one stage or another in my life, I explain what purpose and the things I do. You don't want to do interviews. You're not. You're not really fond of it. No, not really. And the reason for it is that I'm. I, I'm stronger behind a microphone. My radio microphone, yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm stronger with a guitar in my hand, mm -hmm. and I write better letters than I do when I make telephone calls. Yeah. It has nothing to do with uh, with uh, being two persons. I think. Mm. No, no, no. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, 
Next album. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Um, I'm waiting. Um, I have to say, after visiting London and being here for a day, mm-hmm. a lot of things are running around in my head. Mm-hmm. No titles or songs or no ideas of what they'll sound like. But just feeling, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a real interesting city, this one. It's real free, and people, people believe in themselves. And London's real poor, which makes you wonder about society as a whole in other parts of the world. Yeah. Your last album, there are some European influences on it, yeah. musically. you agree with that? Um, I don't know. I don't know I could be in touch with you. Mm-hmm. All I want to say. But as you told me about London, which is, uh, you know, the music scene there in London was very uh, musically aggressive, uh, but punk influences, mm-hmm. etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And on the album cover, you uh, you wear a button, root boy. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. the present. On my manager Jane, yeah. who won by an appropriate yeah. because of the way I am. But um, I, to this day, I ask people and they can't tell me what it means. It mm. came from somewhere, but I get different things from everybody. So. Yeah, but it is, it is not a special meaning. No. Is it? Okay. Well, I guess you can say money, but uh, that's why I'm sure she knows it. Uh, do you consider yourself rude? No. How, how do you write your songs? I mean, how do you come up with the ideas? What are you? From true life experiences. If something occurs, things could have been right like that. That's one of the main differences in the album. Mm-hmm. I used to write from visions and fantasies and the way I thought perfect love should be and things like that. And I don't do that so much anymore. I'll say what it is, something. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're a great producer when it comes to the album. Uh, Thank you. Are you going to produce uh, other people? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, have, I don't know. I think I'll be... I think I'll be into something else before I start producing yeah. other people. I think I'll... No? No, yeah, I know it. I know I'm not going to listen to my song. You sure? Yeah. It's amazing. So what what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Just something different. Mm-hmm. I am uh, I'm very uh, into what I'm doing now and yeah. I think it's a good medium to express myself in but I think in time, I'll grow tired of it. It's a kind of a shock to me. <laughs> yeah. But there, there, there will be a fourth album. Yeah. I'm sure of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, I do have some ideas, and I'm sure once I get back from London, and and just spend another night here mm-hmm. and go to Paris. I'll be dying to write it in. See, I don't write that one. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's one of the reasons that the last album, there isn't much, well, there are a lot of songs on it, but the time, re- recording time, is very, very, mm-hmm. very little. Well, I am. Um, Beside or not? Uh, you feel yeah, I think so. 12, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, I think that has something to do with it. I didn't write a lot of songs during that time period. Mm-hmm. I, I never record in excess. I never record more songs that you know you can put on the next song because I never worked some in a totally different mm-hmm. state by the time the next record comes out. And they never so. mm-hmm. You told me you recorded uh, Strange Hours, mm-hmm. Middle of the Night. Yeah. Three, four. 
Okay. Is that because you, you get an impulse yeah, to do I'm, it? Yeah. I think I'm afraid of sunlight sometimes. Yeah. And I don't uh, I don't stay up there very much for the day and sleep and I report it. If I do it, if I'm working on the You're not someone who, who plans an album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it is uh, it is wrong that a lot of people uh, now you're talking to me uh, compare this album to uh, to to new wave. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it's it's a, it's a special blend between between black music and new wave music. Do you agree with that? No. Yeah. First of all, I don't know if I'm black or not. Mm -hmm. Second of all, um, I live in a place that gets no new way to music at all. All we have is country and western. Mm -hmm. We do more country and western influences than the songs of the guitar and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. New way is harder. And, um, well, I don't know. It's, it's just harder. Mm -hmm. My hope. What kind of audience do you attract in America when you um, perform? Well, a lot, a lot of different types. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on where we are and what support act we have. Yeah. Um, if we're down south, we get primarily black because uh, black and white don't mix down south. So you mm -hmm. either get a white audience or you get a black audience. And if you're walking the line, you'll get uh, more brave, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. So, um, in New York, it's uh, like a lot of black, a lot of white, a lot of male and female and straight and gay and, and conservative and non-conservative. It's really diverse. What do you like best? Performing, writing, uh, being in a studio? Mm -hmm. I, I like I like whatever I'm doing at that particular time. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's time to record or if I feel like I want to, then I'm really into that and I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Mm -hmm. and like right now, I would not want to be recording. I want to play right now. So, so, you know, I'm not the I'm supposed to be doing. It's like a cycle, it's like when it's time to go to sleep, then I want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you think that a lot of people, they didn't, they didn't live, you don't have a watch? Mm -hmm. So you're not living on it? Mm -hmm. I don't care what time it is. <laughs> like a lot of people do, yeah. they plan everything, eating at 12 o'clock, sleeping at, eight, at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. getting up at 7. No, I'm not planning. I just I go by a lot of impulses. Yeah. Two weeks ago, I spoke to someone who also thinks of it the same way you do. Steve Wonder was here too. He doesn't make plans to. Yeah. The first album was was Steve Wonder influenced. Is that wrong to say that? Uh, I don't. Um, Personally, this is a popular music. Mm -hmm. I had to uh, play on uh, too much of it when I was a teenager. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I had to play his music and anybody else's who had a hit. Mm -hmm. and it turned me off to listening to him because I I had to analyze the music because I, I uh, had to teach the keyboard player her part and get all the vocal structures out of it mm -hmm. and I, I had to pick everything apart and it made me know exactly what the artist was going to do next mm -hmm. and so whenever we had to learn if we got another hit and we had to learn that one his songs and 
we knew just exactly what to do, where it was going to go, and it got, became very boring after a while. And whenever I did listen to music, I, it was only because I was making it. And I still had to be playing on the record. Because yeah. I had to, I had to play them anyway. I had to learn them. Yeah. And it was just sickening. It's sickening to play an original song and have people go out and grab popcorn and then come back in when we get through mm -hmm. all the way. So, uh, yeah. You play a lot of instruments. What kind Sometimes. of Yeah. Well, on the album. Yeah. For sure. On well, the first one, I did. The second one, um, I played nice. Mm -hmm. On the third one, there was virtually not half of them. That's true. Yeah. What instrument do you like best? Mm -hmm. well, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. it instruments are really... Uh, depends on the mood. Mm -hmm. Like, I won't touch the drums if I'm happy. Because I can only play the drums when I'm angry or mm -hmm. I feel aggressive or strong. You know, some days you feel stronger than you do other things. Like if I'm tired, I won't touch the drums. And if mm -hmm. I'm uh, excited, I won't uh, play the piano. I like playing the piano when I'm young. Mm -hmm. And um, the guitar, no, I think it's the guitar. I think I like the guitar best because I can be angry and sensitive on that. Mm -hmm. My father and I played on stage. Okay. I think I have enough. Oh, okay. So I won't tire you any more questions. I'm not what? Are you sure you have everything? Sure. Okay. There's maybe one thing I want to know. But I guess that's a long story. So. Well, I'm sorry. We've been brought up. Mm -hmm. Something of the past. Okay, um, um, let's start playing when I was seven. Yeah. Um, that was piano. Uh, that was after my father left. And, uh, I don't know, did you read any of the uh, biography or whatever? No, he, did, he didn't give me the time. Okay, his name is, um, his stage name is Prince Rogers. Mm -hmm. That's where I got the name Prince. So there's my real name. It's not a publicity gimmick. Mm -hmm. um, I hated it when I was coming up. But mom used to me, I guess it's all fixed what I'm doing. It's better than me, right? Um, mm -hmm. I ran away when I was 12, after my mother remarried. Mm -hmm. That's when I learned to play guitar. I couldn't carry my piano on mm -hmm. and, um I learned to play drums shortly thereafter, and most of my most doing everything else was relatively easy. And I went to New York when I was 17, after I got out of high school, and I was sick of playing other people's music. I went to New York to get a record deal, and I lived with my sister Sharon, who was real dear to me during that time. She was going to be my manager. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, a couple of people wanted to produce albums for me, but they wanted to, me to just be a singer, and mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. So I came back to Minnesota and hooked up with some other people who let me make another demo tape on my own. Mm -hmm. And we took it around to a and Columbia Morning, and we did it on it, and we went to Warner Brothers. And then that came out. So, is that, is that the sister you, you mentioned on mm -hmm. the song Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe one question. Uh, what kind of show are you bringing tonight? Mm -hmm. What kind of material are you playing? Uh, let's see. I don't think, I think there's one, I know there's one new song. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rest of it is stuff done. Uh, 
last two albums. Excellent. Yeah, and um, it's real aggressive and it's real bold. Mm-hmm. I'm using words that have been to describe it. Um, if I was to describe it, I would say it's real us. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we tend to get into what we're doing. And sometimes we become oblivious to our surroundings. But We're looking for an exciting time. Yeah. And here they're more. Uh, they're more acceptable to things that are not so acceptable. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have no. Um, sure. Thank you. Thank you.